St. Patrick's Day is upon us, and I thought it would be a great time to do some swatching of green eyeshadow. If you're interested in seeing some swatches, green swatches, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elaine, and welcome back, or if it's your first time here on HMM Makeup, then welcome. I am so excited to be swatching some green eyeshadow today. And uh, I have everything from lime green to a deep kind of uh, bluish green on the other extreme. The whole point is that green is fun. It's fun to wear. I'm wearing some right now. I will tell you what is on my eyes. And I just want to play with green. And uh, in anticipation, of St. Patrick's Day, which for me is tomorrow, but this video will be uploaded for you on St. Patrick's Day so that you can enjoy these swatches and be um, green with envy for the hues that you may be seeking still to add to your collection. So um, I have everything, like I said, from lime green to very, very deep and uh, everything in between. So let's just play around and see what we do. I'm not even going to worry about gradient, I'm just playing. And so if you want to play along with me, that would be great. And uh, I'm going to dive right in, in no particular order. I, I'm, I'm not being studious today, I'm just playing. So this is like my sandbox of green eyeshadows right now. Uh, I'm going to start off with this one, which is the Wild Greens from Urban Decay, and it's a very muted kind of palette. Not a whole lot of, of greens in here, really, uh, as far as green green, but I think I can do a couple here uh, that look okay. So let's just swatch those real quick, and I'll just do a double swatch right away, um, because I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on these swatches, I just want to have some fun and show you some colors. So this is a fun one. Sometimes the camera takes a little while to be able to see the color. Oh, and I should talk about my nail polish too. Before going too far, uh, I am wearing this, this very chartreuse kind of color. It is from Revlon and it is called uh, Bright Side, or in French, Bon Côté. So looking on the bright side, and it is very bright, definitely. <laughs> and um, this uh, ring finger is the Moon Dust from Siate, from the uh, Mini Many Month Advent Calendar. I do really love this color. It is something else. Look at that. So that is what I'm wearing, and so what you're seeing me with swatching is. Uh, is the that green nail polish and I'm going to do this one to just a couple to do that one as well so this is what it looks like I won't actually show you the fingers we're just swatching for fun since it's not an official swatches video uh, so those are the first two I'm just really enjoying this and I want to go back into that second one it's very sparkly and sometimes that doesn't necessarily give you the full effect right away Okay, so there we go, we've got a couple. I am enjoying those already, and I'm going to need to wipe my hands. Okay, I thought I was prepared, but I'm not apparently. All right, so that is it, I think, for those greens that I want out of this palette. The other ones are kind of a brownie green, so that doesn't count. I've decided that doesn't count. I want to go to this uh, Bad Side uh, Zodiac and the Earth version for Virgo. I was uh, really looking forward to this palette until I saw the size of it. I've uh, been critical on this channel already. And there's just the one that is kind of a bluish uh, green that I want to swatch. And it is a beautiful color, and especially if you want a green that is deep. Oh, you know, sometimes you find things by accident. Look at this pairing. From the Wild Greens and then this one from the Earth Palette from Melt. That is a beautiful combo. I might actually do that for, for St. Patrick's Day and it looks very, very deep. But on the skin, it, it, it's very nice. Let me just uh, go in a second time. 
I'm liking this pairing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is this is what I'm going to wear tomorrow. Look at that pairing. Love it. And tomorrow being uh, St. Patrick's Day, of course, as I mentioned. All right, so we've got three beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, and so we're done with uh, those couple of palettes. And next to one of my favorite palettes, uh, top 10 in my collection, the Tiny Marvels palette. It's still available, by the way, through Sydney Grace. If you don't have the Tiny Marvels, I highly recommend it. It is amazingly good. And what I want is to swatch Mantis right here. Wait, should I do Scarab? No, it's not green enough, but Mantis for sure. So let me just go in there. And Mantis is one that I don't often swatch or, or use. And I'm not quite sure why. It's a beautiful green. Look at that. Look at how gorgeous that is. Why am I not using this? What is my problem? It's beautiful. The light for some reason just doesn't, doesn't seem... I don't know, maybe this is better. Let's see. Look at the green. I mean, I'm mm, 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 beautiful. I'm, I'm loving it. Okay. <laughs> I want to bring the light back on. There we go. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what this seems too bright for me. So I want to make sure that you can see the colors, you know? Okay. I'm going to the next palette because Mantis was the only one that was uh, pretty green in this palette. And so let's go to Moon Dust next. There's a green in here that is worthwhile swatching. Kind of almost like a, a bluish green, but it should do the trick anyway. And it's very blingy. Uh, yes, it has a lot of blue in it, but yeah, well. There are no rules, so there we go. Let's just play with this one. That would be a nice topper on the previous one. I'm discovering some combos here. That would look great over top, just for the movable lid, and this over pretty much the rest of the lid. I think that would look really nice. Huh, and I love this combo right here. I want to play with eyeshadow on my eyes. Oh, stained hands. And we are going to go to another lime green, which is from Urban Decay in the Jean-Michel Basquiat palette. This is an older palette at this point, but look at these couple of greens right here. Does that not call for swatching? I think so. So we're going to do those two. Do the deep one first. And then the lime green one that matches my nail polish second. And let's take a look. Okay, that one is definitely quite deep. You can still do a lot with it. And the lime green. I think I'm going to go in twice on these because they're kind of dry. Oh, look at that. Is that not great together? I love that. I have to do these swatching parties more often. Just discover things sometimes in your collection when you swatch, and it's not obvious to the eye until you see it swatched. Oh, this is so much fun. Okay, lovely. Ah, I just want to play, I want to play. Oh, I guess I am playing, but I mean, I want to put these things on my eyes. And just to show you what it is that I have on my eyes, uh, the brown is this one called Strong. And uh, for my uh, inner to two thirds of the lid, I have Smart AF down here. And both of these, this one and this one, are from the Like a Boss palette from Violet Boss. And I really enjoy this palette, still do. I think it's a fantastic color story, very rich kind of jewel tones. Uh, it is definitely a go-to for me on a regular basis. I never have to worry about doing a great look with, uh, with this palette. It's, it's really quite good. And speaking of, let's swatch the three. 
three, yeah. Hmm. But we'll watch, we'll swatch the three that are truly green. I think I'm going to keep it to those two. That's really what, what should be swatched. So these are the two. Oh, that doesn't, why did I swatch this one? It's the wrong one. Okay, well that one makes up for it. Let's see if I can replace that one with something else. Oh, and look at the fingers. This one is very green. Nice. Okay, so that is it for that one. I'm so surprised that that one turned out so brown. Okay, well I will fix it with a different green coming from this palette, which is the Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction. And there is Supernova in here, which is this one, and it will cover the brown very nicely. So we're going to go for this one next. And it's a very Christmassy color, but it is green and we are doing greens. And it is a deep one, so I have no doubt. Oh, wow. It has a little bit of a, a brown undertone as well. So that just that just goes together really well. Actually, or a black base, actually, that's what I'm going to say. But uh, yeah, that worked out quite nicely. And here is the finger. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Ugh. I want to put all of these on my eyes. They're just so nice. Okay, we'll lighten up the colors now. We're, we'll go to the Blitz Astral Quad in Nirvana, Nocturnal Nirvana. And it has a beautiful lime green in here, uh, which is why I wanted the palette to begin with. So it's a quad. And see that lime green there? Mm -hmm. We're going there next. And it has a shift, a three-way shift. It's like um, green, purple, and burgundy. It's a really neat shift and so rich. That is gorgeous. I want to wear that tomorrow, truly. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And look at the finger. Isn't that it's just on the eye? Oh, so beautiful. Oh, I love this quad. It's that, that green is, is life. It's so good. And I might as well swatch some uh, singles from Urban Decay. This one is Mildew. It's one of my favorites from Urban Decay. And it's kind of deep, but it's a green, but a, an approachable green. I really like this one. It's just green enough to be called green, but very wearable. I like this one a lot. Lot. Here's the finger. Just enough for it to be green. And this next one is Vortex, and Vortex is gorgeous. Oof, I'm not really giving you a good view. Look at this, right? It's green and gold. It's a beautiful shift. You see a little bit of blue, a little bit of gold, a little bit of green. It's, um, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now let's do a double swatch of that one. It builds uh, nicely and it has just that little extra bling in it with micro shimmer that I quite like. So that's another one and it has, it is quite sheer, but this is more what it would look like on the eye compared to, to the swatch itself. It's The swatch does not do it justice. This is really what it looks like. Gorgeous stuff, gorgeous stuff. We're getting there. Vortex, and this one is Acid Rain. Oof. This one I coveted for a while, and it would go, would go really well with this nail polish, uh, this Chartreuse nail polish. So this is Acid Rain, right up my alley. And it has definite yellow undertones, and I just, oh, beautiful. Just a beautiful. Color. I'm so big on it. Look at that. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh. oh, it's green, but it's just kind of between uh, lime green and, and a soft yellow. It's just, and it goes really well with my shirt, I guess. <laughs> and we have a super shock that is green as well that I want to swatch for you before I switch arms. And it is this beautiful color, which is called, I keep forgetting, Fizz. It's such a good name. This is called Fizz. Look at this, isn't that gorgeous? Kind of lime green to gold shift. All right, that's going to be the last swatch on this arm. We're, we're finishing with a punch here. Punch of green. There, okay, so that is it for the one arm. Pretty happy with that. It's a lot of very nice colors. I still really like this guy. Oh, 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 oh. I could swatch all day, every day. Seriously. Gosh. It's so much fun. I hope you're getting a lot out of this. <laughs> I, hope, I sincerely hope you are. And let's go to Natasha Denona's Retro Palette. There's, there's uh, I'd say, two colors that I want to... No, three, I guess. Three colors that I want to swatch in here. So this one, this one, and the two that I think will show most, these two. I don't, I'll skip this one because it's quite light. Uh, and let's see how those swatches go. Oh, maybe I should do odds too. Ah, there's a lot in here. Okay, let's just see how it goes. So we're gonna go Evergreen, Marlin, Sage, and Oz. Okay, here are the four, and we are starting off on the next arm. They're not as green. They're, they're, they're leaning toward green, but I wouldn't say they're truly green colors when we see them swatched like this. And this is far more blue than I expected on a swatch and the pinky. So they have some green leaning tendencies, but they're not they're not really all that green. Maybe the first and second one, but they're not all that much green. Okay, second swatch. Okay, and here are the second set of shadow that I picked up. Yeah, there's a lot of blue undertone to these. Not quite what I was expecting for build up. And I, I'm not quite sure why I didn't remember that these were going to be more of a, a blue. You can't win them all, you know? But at least the first and uh, third finger, or the, the pinky and the middle finger, had a decent amount of green on them. It's not all lost. So the Retro Glam um, just kind of disappointed me a little bit. Um, not quite what, what I was expecting, and I did avoid this one because it is pretty light. But, um, well, that is what it is, and uh, we're going to move on. Okay, now for this Full Spectrum from Urban Decay, we've got a couple of really nice colors to swatch. There's a Kelly Green right in the middle. And then underneath here, there's this lime green. So we're going, we're going to do those two. And why not? Let's do 100 at the top. So this middle row, uh, not row, middle column is what I want, I'm going to swatch because all three of them have uh, some um, uh, green tendencies. So we'll do those next. So we've got 100 and H, uh, or Hatter, like the Mad Hatter, I guess. Hatter. And, oh, look at the Kelly green. And a uh, last one is Mean, which is a kind of a lime green. Lime green, kind of a lime green gold almost. They're very different from each other. Okay, so here we go. A hundred is so rich. It's a very rich 
green, deep green. And we have the Kelly green here. And then the lightest one of the bunch. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, these don't need re-swatching. They, uh, they look pretty vibrant just as is, so I'm going to stay right there and show you the fingers. Such a Kelly green, hey? Lovely. Okay, that is it for that palette, and I'm going to go to this palette, which is a Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay collaboration that I ended up picking up because of my friend Steph in Ireland. Um, and the one that we are going to swatch, you can tell right away, is that one single Kelly Green in there? And I'm going to do that right now. And I don't think it's going to need a double swatch. Look at that. Whew. Yeah, that's going to be just fine. Look at that. Pulling a little bit to the blue, too, isn't it? Interesting. And a very green finger for you. Oh my goodness, thank goodness I'm wearing black pants because I am going to have a lot of eyeshadow on my pants. Okay, so that is it for this palette. There's just the one uh, green, so we can move on from that. And next I'm going to go into some of the Cleona Cosmetics singles. And I think you can tell which ones I'm going to be swatching these guys right here because they are that kind of green that we're after today. And so here are the three that I'm going to be swatching from those singles from Cleona. I do like all of these. Cleona makes amazing eyeshadow. Cleona Cosmetics. Second. Third. Did I do? No, I just did three. Look at that. Those look beautiful. I should tell you what they are because they're singles. It's not like they're in a palette. Look at the fingers, jeez. Beautiful, beautiful. So the first one, the index finger is Gecko's Tail. So this is Gecko's Tail. The next one over is uh, Climate Change. So this middle finger, climate change. And this last one is, I like all of them, tree line. So that's it for these. Gecko's tail, climate change, and tree line. Beautiful. Okay, and next I want to go into this Morphe palette, believe it or not, and it is the uh, M35, uh, M35, 35M, uh, called Boss Mood, and it is the only Morphe palette that I have ever coveted, and it's because of the greens. The top of the palette was fascinating to me, and I don't know if there are all that many standout greens. I think I'm just going to uh, swatch three of them in total. And I think that that will be it, except for me showing you a couple of other palettes that are really very, very St. Patrick's Day-like. As it turns out, I'm only going to swatch two because the other one is very yellow. So just these two are going to kind of fit the bill, so to speak. So there's the one and the second one. And I'll just double swatch uh, for you on those. Here we go. Last time. Beautiful. Okay, let's take a look at all the swatches together. And I'll show you the other uh, palette that I did not get to. So a lot of different colors 
some that are a little bit too blue they sometimes look different in the pan than they will swatched which is why we swatch right uh, but there are a lot of beautiful greens in here and hopefully you have some inspiration uh, to take you into tomorrow uh, or in your case today saint patrick's day now if you have made it this far you are a diehard and I want to reward the fact that you made it this far with swatches of two palettes that I think are the best in providing some um, St. Patrick's Day vibes. And I'm going to start with this one, The Secret Garden from Colored Rain. And it's a six pan palette and I'm going to swatch on my hand, which is going, ooh, I almost lost the palette. Whew. All right. Um, and this one is not as St. Patrick's Day like, but it does have a very interesting green that I want to uh, swatch for you. Actually, I'll swatch these two because with the yellow background, it's hard to tell. So let's just swatch those two in general. Or let's swatch the whole palette. It's only six shadows. We can do that. Okay. Let's just do that. I think it'll make more sense to swatch the palette overall. It's only six shadows. So I said my hand, so there's one shadow, two shadows, pretty opaque, that's good. Three shadows. Oh, hopefully you're seeing properly. And I'm just going to do a double swatch of that. Look at those colors. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Of course, it's the greens that I'm looking at showing you, but might as well just finish this. And there are the three there. Check out those fingers. Very vivid colors. I'm really liking that green for sure. Okay, and I'm going to wipe my fingers and we'll go to the second row. And here's the second row. So let's get into swatching those. And this green is definitely of interest. That looks like a very good green for our purposes today. Hard to swatch right on the wrist bone. <laughs> and this green. Oh yeah, that is great. Look at that. That is beautiful. So let's re-swatch those three. And the next palette, by the way, is a lot more green. So we're, we're going to finish on a, uh, on a high here. Okay, so this one and this one are definitely respectable greens. We could definitely do a nice St. Patrick's Day look using those for sure. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the, the swatching um, so far. And we have the one last palette, which it is the piece de résistance. It is, I think, the best palette uh, for St. Patrick's Day uh, that I have in my collection anyway and I cannot wait to show you. So I'm just going to uh, finish wiping my hands here and show you right away. And this is really the one, the last little bit that has to do with uh, St. Patrick's Day and it truly is a perfect color story for the day. And that is what I'm going to finish off with for this whole swatching fest of green and yellowish kind of hues. I'll do the uh, top three swatches first and then finish up with the bottom three. Now, not all of them are green, but they definitely would help to create a green uh, look. And so here, oops, I was going to swatch on the wrong spot. So there's the first color and I'll double swatch them. Second color and third color. Oh, wow, yes. I've swatched these before, but it doesn't stop me from being 
appreciative every time. So let me just double swatch these. Here are the fingers. I like showing the fingers because it is what more indicative of what it's going to look like on the eye. I really do love this little palette. It is my favorite of the two. And here we go. First shadow, second shadow, and third. This is a beautiful one. Definitely for St. Patrick's Day. That is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Okay, let me wipe those fingers off and we'll do the last three. Okay, and here are the last three. Very St. Patrick's Day-like. And let's do the swatches. Okay, oh, and turn around. Oh yeah, oh, this is, this is perfect. And the next one. Again, oh, what a great color for St. Patrick's Day. And finally, this very deep shadow to help deepen up the look. That looks great. I will double swatch. I don't think that it needs it, but I will do it anyway. And one, two, I hope I was in view of the camera, the last set of swatches. Sorry about that if I ducked down a little bit. And there we go. That is the uh, wealthy chic palette. And I do think in my whole collection, this is the palette that is the most in line with St. Patrick's Day. I'll just show you the fingers one last time. Look at these two, right? Love it, love it, love it. So here are the two from Colored Rain. Obviously this is the, uh, the St. Patrick's Day palette in my opinion, in everything that I have in my collection. Um, some very nice swatches still from a bunch of different palettes. And to me, this is this is the form uh, that is most representative of some shadows that would look really good applied uh, for St. Patrick's Day. However you are going to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, if you do, I hope that you have a great time. Please be responsible. Please make sure that you have a designated driver. And uh, for anyone who is just enjoying the swatches, I hope you had a lovely time seeing uh, all of these green and yellowish and uh, sparkly shadows that are in the green family for the spirit of St. Patrick's Day. And uh, yeah, have a great time. And if you want to leave me a note as far as what it is that you're planning on doing or what it is that you particularly liked out of the swatches for this video, I'd love to hear it in the comments. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every single time. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, as always, take care. Thank you.